Good Night by Lee Young Lee takes place when uh, Lee is in bed with his child and he's sort of reflecting on his experiences with his father and sort of the sacrifices that everyone gives in in, in, for the sake of familial love. This sort of goes for a theme of support where apples sort of symbolize mistakes that we make, but there's always a ground beneath them. There's a support structure uh, that exists. And this sort of furthers a motif of sacrifice in terms of the structure of the poem, the sort of enjambment that exists between lines shows how sort of there's support embedded within them, how each line depends on uh, the one before it to sort of continue its a stream of thought. Now, in terms of the authorial intentions, Li Young Li is trying to sort of show the importance of sort of familial love and it's sort of the potential of developing relationships between father and son and how that's able to overcome all problems, whether it's an uncomfy bed or a bloody hand. And in terms of the re impact on the reader, I think that we all can relate to this sort of ability to love, to transform a uncomfortable or difficult situation into something that we enjoy or cherish. So starting at the top when he says that you've stopped whispering or in our sleep indicates that the child is at least uh, secure enough as sleep is something that's very vulnerable and he's he's stopped he stopped he's no longer awake and he's sort of necessarily at least comfortable enough to fall out of consciousness but lee continues going on listening showing that he sort of is protecting uh, his son now to apples that he's listening to apples that drop in the grass. I think that these apples sort of symbolize mistakes and sort of this is evidence as the next line he explains how earlier and we earlier I think he means uh, we try to uh, earlier in life we try to guess each fall's moment in terms of it's sort of like what is going to happen we try to predict exactly what our mistakes are going to be but it's impossible to do that now the enjambment as I pointed out earlier indicates um sort of how each line depends on the next sort of how it's important for a uh, support to exist now he explains how the weight is sort of very personal. It's an intimate uh, detail. It's against him. And he wants to say that you're simply heft. And what this means is that all the child is is just a bunch of a weight of pounds. But to him, the emotional connection generates so much more significance. And he says the burden is like a grain. It's tiny. But I think that the grains sort of indicate how when you sort of pile on a bunch of grains, it's sort of indicative of being sort of a made of a bunch of tiny experiences that make up sort of a whole general experiences. And he says that the body brings him pain, but this is sort of a pain that he's willing to bear. It's something that he's willing to necessarily go through because he's willing to make those sort of sacrifices. Now, the next line is incredible attention to detail of shoulders, knees, elbows, hands. And I think that that shows sort of the int intimate, the sort of massive care that he has for his son. And then he has sort of a simile as it's like sacked fruit. I think that we could all imagine just lumpy sacked fruit put in a bag together and having throwing that weight on top of you, how that would be uncomfortable. And for most, it would be unbearing to just lay with a sack of fruit on you. But because it's his child, he sort of feels that emotional connection. And he says that whatever concord or peace that is actually between there, it's not easily, it's not easy to have that peace as if it was a sack of fruit. It would not be easy, but it's only because of their diligence. It's only because of their sort of uh, focus on each other and their love for each other. So now he sort of is going into sort of memory, a season of flowers. We have, once again, the repetition of plants, whether it be fruit. So it sort of shows how we need sort of a base uh, to grow ourselves. And he says, when for love, sort of out of this love, out of this care for his father, he sort of crept to the edge of the roof and reach for a petal decked branch. I think that's sort of the flowery language that he uses sort of indicating growth. Um, and he says that this, this branch snapped and he fell down and sort of, this was a massive sacrifice that he made, but he did it. So his father, and then his father comes out and sort of is, this has, we have this sort of reoccurring motif in many of Lee Young Lee's poems about the role of his father and always being a supportive and influential uh, figure for him. And it's just n no different here. And so, the sort of bloody gift that he, uh, the bloody fist that he has is sort of his sacrifice for those that he loves, which is his father, and he's sort of making a, a sim very similar sacrifice here. Now, 
now then transitions that his dad is dead as he says he plunges below us now and he we sort of fall soundlessly towards him as indicating that we're all everyone is always getting closer uh, to this death but i think that what he means is that we should sort of enjoy these subtle moments these sort of arm being against his and torso a wedge between the wall these incredibly detailed depictions indicate how care how much he actually cares about him now saying that he sleeps uncomfortably, but it's because he's comforted by his presence in which he cries some nights, but he's able to endure this this night is that his son loves him and sort of appeals to the comfort that he provides him. Now, the next sort of question that he asks of where did you learn such a sacrifice? I think he knows the answer to it. It's sort of the very same question that he could have asked himself when he was reaching for the flower and he fell is that he learned it out of familial love but i think what is interesting in terms of the poem is that he says now i no longer hear the apples fall and i think that what it means here is that when apples fall that is the example of mistakes or mistakes out of love and when they hit the ground, you sort of hear them, and that the ground is that support. So when he hit the ground, it was his father there to support him. And when uh, his, his son is sleeping uncomfortably, he's there to support him. But now he no longer has that support as his father is dead. But he says, "How? oh, but how they go, insistently, though, with no noise, saying that mistakes still happen, but he doesn't have that support that he has to his for his that his child had or that he had as a child with his father so it sort of shows how we should value those sort of relationships that we have while we happen so he sort of ends with there's no bottom tonight which shows that the apples will always fall and there's no end we do not have sort of the support but what he says is that we should we suffer through sort of each other while we have it so we sort of work together through building sort of these relationships to endure while we necessarily can, and that's what he's done with his father, and that's what he's doing with his uh, son in this instance.